At least five police were wounded and several students were arrested after a student rally protesting the increase of fuel prices in Indonesia's Banda Aceh turned violent. Hundreds of students from various universities held a peaceful demonstration in front of regional legislative office in Banda Aceh on Wednesday. But the rally then turned violent when participants started throwing various objects such as plastic bottles of mineral waters to police who are guarding the rally. Demonstrators forced to enter the legislative building by force and police fired tear gas to disperse the crowd. Five policemen were wounded in the incident and police have arrested at least 10 students. Students had conducted a three-day protest in front of Banda Aceh legislative building to protest the Indonesian government policy to raise the prices of subsidized fuel according to police. The search and rescue operations team held to find a missing Indonesia's Navy aircraft spotted the body of the airplane Thursday. Bodies of two people on board the light military airplane were found as well. G-36 Bonanza T-2503 airplane lost contact with the ground staff during a Navy's anti-air attacks drill above the Madura Strait on Wednesday morning. The search operation began immediately, and on Thursday morning, the team spotted an object similar to the image of the aircraft. At least seven Navy ships were deployed to comb the area suspected as the location of the airplane at the Madura Strait. The plane was found about 14 meters below the sea surface, and also the bodies of its pilot, First Lieutenant Yudhistira Eka Permadi, and co-pilot, Second Lieutenant Dendi Kresna Bakti, according to Navy Commander Admiral Yudo Margono. Bodies of the victims have been taken to a Navy's hospital in Surabaya, East Java, and the remains of the aircraft have been evacuated to the shore on Thursday. Dua prajurit terbaik Angkatan Laut, Letu uh, Yudhistira uh, Eka Permati, Yudhistira Eka Permati, dan Kopilot Leda Laut Pelaut Dendi Kresna Bakti Sabila. Yang mana pada tadi jam 10.00 telah ditemukan di kedalaman laut 14 meter. Masih di dalam uh, bangkai pesawat yang jatuh kemarin dan juga sudah dievakuasi ke RSAL Surabaya. Dan juga untuk uh, pesawat juga sudah diangkat di KRI di Leda Laut Pelaut Dendi Kresna Bakti Sabila. Yang mana pada tadi jam 10.00 telah ditemukan di kedalaman laut 14 meter. Masih di dalam uh, bangkai pesawat yang jatuh kemarin dan juga sudah dievakuasi ke RSAL Surabaya. Dan juga untuk uh, pesawat juga sudah diangkat di KRI Leda Laut Pelaut Dendi Kresna Bakti Sabila. Yang mana pada tadi jam 10.00 telah ditemukan di kedalaman laut 14 meter. Masih di dalam uh, bangkai pesawat yang jatuh kemarin dan juga sudah dievakuasi ke RSAL Surabaya. Dan juga untuk uh, pesawat juga sudah diangkat di KRI 